Alright folks, so this is part two of the generator transfer switch, uh, I guess details uh, that uh, a viewer asked about. <clears throat> so what I'm going to show now is the inverter feed or uh, you know the, the generator position uh, power feed to these transfer switch boxes. So <clears throat> we come from our inverter charger and let's see here, this uh, condo right here is the power outlet, AC power outlet of this uh, inverter charger. Uh, we have come down this box, a little pre uh, circuit breaker box I've got. It's one of the other circuit breakers going in this uh, outlet box right here. And the other one is feeding this conduit right here. Uh, it goes along here and up here to this box here, this 120 volt uh, AC junction box and uh, I'll show you what's in that junction box in another video but it comes into that junction box there's a, a terminal strip in there uh, where lots of things come together and then it goes down through this uh, uh, automatic transfer switch that I got set up here and then it comes down through this conduit into this uh, T fitting here and uh, so part of the feed goes into this box and the other part of the feed comes through this uh, plastic flexible conduit into this box. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this cover off and I'll just show you some wires in there and uh, how it's hooked up. Alright so in this box for power coming from the inverter is uh, we've got our positive cable here wired out it into the red wires inside here. There's a wire nut for the, uh, I guess, <clears throat> so the black wires is, is what I consider the hot, I'm pretty sure. And the red wires is the neutral. And uh, must be the white wire coming from this box must be hooked up to another spot in there. This is why I can't see it that uh, you saw in the other video. And then the ground is, uh, screwed into a ground screw inside there uh, if I remember correctly it's been a while since I've opened that up but anyway that's that's how that's hooked up um, there's three wires here because the other wires are going to this other box right here probably prefer to have both of them coming from from here because uh, it's only a 10 gauge wire coming down through here and you know 4,000 watts is 33 amps so it's a little over that, uh, but I don't get up there very often, probably at all. Uh, but in here, the power feed coming from the inverter, this is a uh, eight gauge wire in here, and then it, it's eight gauge into this box, and then I got 10 gauge coming from here. So that's kind of a weak spot in the system that I need to remedy at some point. But <clears throat> that's what I got. So, yeah, uh, to answer the viewer's question, is the neutral uh, from the inverter charger? So the power feed coming from the inverter charger, uh, the, the neutral is hooked into the neutral, the same neutral wire that goes into this breaker box. And the ground wire from um, the inverter chargers is uh, hooked in the same ground wire that comes from, from here, which comes from the inverter charger. And the hot obviously comes from all that too. So uh, yeah, the, the, the ground from the inverter charger, I believe is hooked in to this box which is hooked into this breaker panel and the neutral is hooked into this box from the inverter charger which is hooked into this breaker panel so hopefully that answers uh, that viewer's question but anyway just wanted to show you that real quick uh, for how the inverter charger is uh, hooked into this generator uh, power input position for the switches here and hopefully that makes sense if you have any more questions let me know grace and peace be with you